Imagine transforming your basic e-commerce pack shots into striking advertising visuals in just a few clicks. In this video, I'll show you how the 100% free and open source AI called IC Light is transforming product photography forever. The IC Light AI relights your subjects and product effortlessly. But in order to maximize it for a practical workflow, we're going to need to amplify its abilities with additional artificial intelligence components. The first step is to use depth map with a control net. The second step is to use IC Light with an IP adapter. And the third step is to use basic, traditional image layer blending in Photoshop. But first, I want to introduce you to the brilliant man who made all of this possible. This is Liu Min Zhang, and he's a genius. This is Liu Min Zhang's GitHub page. If you've been involved in the open source AI community over the past year or two, there's a very good chance you'll have heard of, if not used, some of his open source projects. Most notably, we've got ControlNet, Focus, and Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. Now, Liu Min Zhang has been a genius for a very long time. In 2020, he released Generating Digital Painting Lighting Effects via RGB Space Geometry. Now, that's just a really fancy way of saying that they are able to relight subjects by mimicking the brushstrokes of artists. We observe the artist's painting behaviors and find it possible to use the painting brushstroke history to analyze the artistic shading. Here, we can see what that's like in real-life application. We've got a beautiful vase on the left, and we've got a violet flower on the right. They're able to relight these structures in convincing ways. Lumen is also responsible for ControlNet. ControlNet is a remarkably transformative breakthrough in artificial intelligence image generation. This breakthrough allows you to use a reference image. In this case, the illustrative example shows a bedroom with a bed, desk, chair, window, and shelf. The control net allows you to determine the composition of your output image. You'll notice that the gray black and white image is the depth map and that image is pre-processed and is used as your control net reference. That control net reference allows you to determine the output composition of your image. And now he's released IC Light. And this is easily one of the most exciting open source projects released since ControlNet. IC Light allows us to relight our subjects with more than one light source at the same time, even allows us to use light sources with different colors at the same time. IC Light can even estimate the subject's light stage based on a background image reference. In this example, you can see that we have multiple different foreground subjects on the left with a gray scale back. On the top row, we'll notice that there's a bunch of reference backgrounds provided. Providing the AI model these two images, we're able to estimate a convincing light stage based on the background and relight our foreground subject in such a way as to mimic an accurate representation of reality. And combining all of these incredible AI technologies together, we can revolutionize product photography in a practical and easily implementable way. We can transform basic product shots into stylized lifestyle images and in-situ studio photography with relative ease. Now, before we continue, I want you to notice that this content is great for learning about how the state-of-the-art AI is giving smaller businesses a major advantage for product photography. But this is not a beginner-friendly tutorial. To reproduce this workflow, you should have some working knowledge of Comfy UI. You can find a link to how to install Comfy UI in the description below. You will also need a basic understanding of photo editing software like Photoshop. Additionally, on top of this, the third requirement is that you will need an NVIDIA GPU with at least 12 gigabytes of VRAM. All right, now that we've got those formalities out of the way, let's dive right into the workflow with the first step. We're gonna be using ControlNet with a depth mapper. You can find a workflow for this available in the Gumroad link in the description below. The first step of this workflow is to take your product reference image and to transform it into a depth map using depth anything. In section A, you will upload the foreground subject. In this case, we're using a reference image I downloaded for free from Pixels. The second component of this workflow is to select your depth mapper. I tend to find that depth anything is the most reliable depth mapper currently available. However, Zoe depth is also pretty well established and quite effective. Additionally, we've got a background remover purpled out, which means it's currently inactive in this workflow. And if your reference image has got too much busyness going on in the background, which would affect your reference image output, you can trim the background out such that it 
does not form part of your reference imagery. In section C of this workflow, you'll notice that the composition has been determined by our depth map image, as well as the positive text prompt. In this case, we've used the positive text prompt of Christmas theme, Christmas lighting, abstract modern styling, just some basic stylistic interpretations. This workflow will work for all kinds of different product objects. Here you can see that it will work just as well with an opaque object such as a Kellogg's Fruit Loops ox. This subject is particularly interesting for our purposes because it includes a lot of branding which is going to be important for most people in a practical sense. However you'll notice that our preview image produced by the style background generator does not accurately reflect what a box of Kellogg's Fruit Loops looks like. Don't worry, this is just for producing a perspective aligned stylistic reference image. This workflow will also work for much larger products. Here we've got a car that also shows us it will work for objects which have mixed materials which are transparent and opaque in variation. However, this workflow is not designed to work for human models wearing clothing. Again, this step is purely to help us get a stylistic reference for our IP adapter in step two, and to ensure that our perspectives align with background and subject. All right, this is step number two, and this is where IC light comes into the picture and we amplify its powers with IP adapter as well. This is our product relighter workflow, also available in the Gumroad link in the description box below. It's 100% free. This workflow involves two areas that you need to pay attention to. A is the user input area and B is the user output area. Section A involves four separate inputs. One, you'll want to insert your product pack shot you started with. Area two is an input area where you can tweak the lighting conditions. Section three is where you'll upload the background reference image that we generated using step one. And number four is finally where you can tweak some of the text prompts. Section B produces two outputs. One is labeled transparent subjects and two is labeled opaque subjects. Both of these are useful for the layer blending in step three of this video. This is what it looks like when we apply the same workflow to our Fruit Loops reference product. We get two reference outputs the transparent subject and the opaque subject. You'll notice that the coloring of the transparent subject is a little bit closer to our IP adapter reference image with the beak of Toucan Sam transformed to white where the spoon of our reference image is. This is why we need two separate output images in order to blend a layer. And this is what it looks like with our vehicle. Some top line observations comparing the transparent subject and the opaque subject images, you'll notice that the lighting conditions for the transparent products tend to be more intense and the transformation is more pronounced. Having both of these images plus the original pack shot gives us tremendous versatility and options for retouching using traditional retouching techniques like layered image blending onto the final step in this workflow. For this step, we'll be using Photoshop to transform our original images and our AI generated images into striking and representative product shots. For our first example, we'll be dealing with the milk product reference image. First things first, we import the transparent product image as the bottom layer into Photoshop. After importing, right click and click rasterize smart object. Next, bring in your opaque product image and rasterize it as well as a layer above the transparent product image. Once you've got your two layers rasterized, click on edit in the top left. In the drop down menu, look for auto blend layers and left click. A pop up menu will appear labeled auto blend layers and click OK. After some time, depending on how powerful your computer is, you will have a new layer made from merged masks of the other two layers. This auto blend feature is designed to mask out overexposed and underexposed components of each layer in your image stack. This helps to very quickly produce a blended merge layer that has the best of both worlds. In this case, our output is highly representative of our original product image. The lighting conditions might be a little bit too intense. 
However, the color composition can be further refined using traditional retouching techniques as well by somebody with much more skill than me. For a product as simple as this, that's all that needs to be done. This is ready to go. However, for products that have textual and branding elements, we'll need to change a couple of parts of our workflow in order to ensure that the text remains legible and that the branding remains representative. The first step is just the same. Bring in your transparent product image as a bottom layer and rasterize it. Import both the transparent product and opaque product images and rasterize them just as we've done before. However, where this workflow is different from the milk bottle image, we will also import our reference original pack shot. After importing your original reference pack shot, you should drag it to the second layer position underneath the opaque product image, but above the transparent product. Now select your top opaque product image again and using the object selection tool, click on the foreground subject. With your foreground subject selected, click on the create mask from selection icon. Next, select the brush tool and with the color picker, ensure that you have selected pure black as your color to brush. Zoom in on the text areas that have been affected by AI wonkiness and simply brush over them. This will effectively erase the part of the AI generated image and allow the perfect pack shot layer to be visible beneath. Now we've got all text legible and can be improved with more meticulous masking as well as final color touching up. Lastly, let's detail how the car, which has text in the form of the license plate and the branding, as well as transparent components like the windows. For this, we'll insert all three layers and rasterize just like we did with the Fruit Loops. With your top layer selected, opaque product image, use the object selection tool again to select your foreground subject. Make a mask of the opaque product layer subject with the create mask from selection icon again. Using the brush tool with the black color selected again, mask out the windows and areas with text like the number plate and logo symbol. This will reveal your layer underneath the transparent product layer. To ensure that the text elements are properly represented, we will also create a mask of the transparent product image layer and brush over the logo and number plate as well. The result is that the original pack shot will be visible through both of the above layers. You can switch between having the transparent product image and the opaque product image as your top layer, depending on which you prefer. And that's it. There are three simple steps to use 100% free artificial intelligence from the open source community and some basic retouching techniques. You can now multiply the value of your existing pack shots and get beautiful on location lifestyle photography and fantastic studio stylized images as well. If you found this video useful and would like access to a free PDF downloadable version as well as the free comfy UI workflows found from step one and step two of this video, click in the description box below on the Gumroad link. AI product photography is here and practically usable, giving small businesses a major advantage like never before. But it's not the only AI giving small businesses a major advantage. Check out this video on ChatGPT4 Omni to see how you can use it to make so much of your everyday work a whole lot easier.